Let the sail out. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Shut his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. stronger than before no surprise there this war spun on for three generations i hardly expect him to relent your hatred for that man burns bright wolf kissed i could warm my balls on it would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches just take care eivor such hatred can make you careless what he did to your father he did to all of us you are not in this fight alone Down. 
Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course you will. Is that oh, not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. This misadventure. Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis Fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after seventeen winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Eivor! Did you bring us any treasure? I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! Tecla, I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tecla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Lambakir, <laughs> Fikir, 
Drink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Who it is? Practicing your wordplay, Albus. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let, let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. With your teaching, I'm sure my next challenger I will slay. Mm, no. The rhyme is good, but too many words upsets the rhythm. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I will spit in your face and I will bash in your skull. Not bad, not bad. The rhyme is there, the sound is good, but... Consider that I said you were silly and you told me you would kill me. At times it might be best to remain on theme. Something to consider. Last one. So go then and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I look forward to becoming far more than you can bear. A good rhyme, but a bad structure. Close, you're close. There's still much for you to learn about flighting, but I'm confident you'll pick it. Happy to help you learn if you'd like to come back again. Perhaps I will. Thank you, Alvis.
wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
Is there something else? See you later, Sven. Sure. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out, then release. interest you in a game of Orlok. Point me to some good hunting grounds. I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> 